I picked up this Nashville hot style crispy fried mix for chicken. I'm see how this is. Usually, you know, people do Andy's where I'm from. I don't know why I decided, got, decided to get that. I don't know if we're going to do cornbread because I don't eat cornbread. But I guess we're doing cornbread. You with your boy, fine wine. Passing out the zones where I'm comfortable. Trying to build a home like the hugs to boast. Searching for my niche and my getting close. Pass me the ball, I deliver in the post. Give me go. You know where we going, straight to the tip top of your anus, your brain is aimless, it can get dangerous, it can get dangerous, Michael Jackson bad, ain't felt this bad since I was a bad boy, J-Lo's and Halo's come by the quesos, ain't that what you asked for, do what you asked for, clap for, ain't no time to wait, better stay ready or you might be late. Better stay ready or you might be late. Uh. I've been up all night searching for you. I've been chasing you, love. I was good, y'all. Happy fourth day. Hope oh, it's pretty lit. I'm finna. My fourth day, I'm finna teach myself a new task. Finna learn how to fry some chicken. Now, I can bake some chicken. That's not a problem. But when I fry chicken, it always doesn't fry or it doesn't float. So I, I never trust and I never eat it. True story. Um, I'm just looking for my keys, man. Up oh, there. So, today we will be frying some chicken. Now, I should have probably picked, got the drum legs and wings and stuff like that, but some reason I wanted to pull out the chicken thighs. You know, sometimes you be like in the back of your free freezer, be like, mm, I need to go ahead and eat that before something happens to it. Well, this is one of them situations. Yep, yeah, got the brand on. A little bag on the side, you know, one of those. Oh, okay. Had to check to see if the wallet was in there. Pushing the jack. All right, guys, this is day four. Yes, I said day four. We've been consistent with what we're doing, right? Um, like I said earlier, you seen me get all, well, you seen me season, cook, or talk, whatever y'all seen me do. I was getting prepared for what we were about to do. So you see, we got the stove cracking. See, you know what I'm saying? Getting everything ready. It's gonna go crazy. So I'm learning how to bake. And, well, I know how to bake chicken. I'm gonna have a fried chicken today. It's gonna be dope. We got nothing but thighs. No legs, no breasts, no arms. Just thighs. We doing, what else we doing? Thighs and what? We're doing thighs, we're doing mashed potatoes, we're doing rice, we're doing cornbread, we're doing corn. So we're doing today. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We got a few things we got popping. You know? I picked up this Nashville hot style crispy fried mix for chicken. I'm see how this is. Usually, you know, people do Andy's where I'm from. I don't know why I decided to, decided to get that. I don't know if we're going to do cornbread. I don't eat cornbread. I guess we're doing cornbread. It is cooking up some serious over here. Go ahead and turn it to show the camera. Show, show what's going on. We get prepared. We get prepared. This is, I feel like, this ain't my first time doing this, but the first time I feel like I'm doing it right. You see, that I got my hands all in the powder and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and bathe one. You know what I'm saying? Give it a nice bath in the egg that we have over, over him. That's our Uncle Clip that's over him. And then we're gonna put it in this delectable, you know what I'm saying, second bath. We can't tell you everything that's in there. But we got some good stuff in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one and show you how to bathe him. You know what I'm saying? Wash him. So you know we already seasoned him. He's been seasoned for at least the last two hours. So you wanna go ahead and dip him in there. Get him, you know what I'm saying? Leave him in there for a second, you know? Now, if you didn't season your flour, you messed up. Because the, the season's gonna come off, some of the season's gonna come off how you whatever you marinated the whip so i learned that the hard way but today 
I'm in the game. So then after you get them like that, you wanna, you know what I'm saying? And then put them in there. You know what I'm saying? You wanna cover them up. Yeah. I think this might be the first one that ever looked this good. You know? And then you want to tuck it. Most people don't know about the tuck. I ain't know about the tuck. Over and then, once you got it, you want to bring him over. Oh, oh, we'll clean it up. Oh, yeah, he's ready. He's ready. Mm -hmm. And then that's kind of how you that's how you get them done. That's the first time I've ever seen a baby look that ready to go in a bag. First time ever. You know? And so that's what we're doing. We got some other stuff we're going. I'm gonna show y'all. You know, we got the potatoes going. Yeah, it's, it's getting serious. You got all of them in there. Ooh, the skin looking delectable. Ooh, really. We getting the butter and the potatoes gonna be something nice. You got the, did you see it? Little butter cooking in the middle of it, getting right, getting ready. Yeah, that's what I don't know nothing about that right there. That white truffle salt, just a little bit. Just be a little generous and that'll be it. That's what I'm saying. All right, now we're about to check the baked chicken. We already got the fried chicken done, the, the corn is done, the mashed potatoes is done. Uh, I think that's all we know. We're not, we're not doing rice anymore, right? Right. All right. So it says we got like four more minutes left on the clock with the chicken. That's what the chicken looking like right now. Or whatever. Or whatever. See, I know how to bake. I know how to bake. It's all about the fry, you know. But this is day four. I'm just stepping out of my comfort zone, and so we just want to check on. I got a few more minutes left on the clock. We're gonna let it sit in there for the rest of what it needs to do, and then we're gonna come back. So, hey, thank y'all for tuning in. We, hey, y'all jamming in the kitchen with jam or fine wine, whatever you want to call me. Check it out. So, the other video is gonna be right there. That's what other video is if you want to come check out my last one. So, now it's time to open up the L. I mean, the, if it was talking, we'd be talking Spanish, it'd be El Pollo. Ooh. That's the bait. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can see the stain. Well, y'all might not be able to see the stain coming off of it, but yeah. The food is finally done. I'm happy. I'm surprised. I like how it looks. It looks very good. Come get a come over. Come, just come get a glimpse of all this. Cast on the corn, cast on the mashed potatoes, you know what I'm saying? I wanted a few whole ones, and then I'm on the chicken. So, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, we tried some of the uh, fried chicken, it was bomb. It could've used a little bit more seasoning, but it was bomb. So, since I already know what it kind of tastes like, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with the corn. Taste the truffle um, oil or truffle salt in here. It tastes like how it smells. <laughs> yeah, it definitely tastes like but it's good though. And then you got the mashed potatoes. You got a little lump in it, and I, and I like the lump. I'm the one who beat them up and blew them up. You always be scared when I make chicken, cause it might be pink or it might not be cooked, and that's why I always that's why I don't make chicken that much. I make fish because I'm scared. But today, I did I did research all week. I've been watching stuff on YouTube, no lie. Watching all different, you know, ethnicities cook from Filipino 
African, you know, African American, you know, everybody. And so I think I found, you know, I think it's more about the seasoning at this point because it looks like it's cooked good and it's tender. So. Mm-hmm. That's so nice. And it got a little spice to it. I added some uh, New Orleans, uh, New Orleans uh, seasoning to it. A little um, roasted garlic herbs. Oh, that's fire. Mm-hmm. My onion. Um, powder. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That's something different. But thank y'all for tuning in. This food is going to be fire cast out to eat herbs and fried herbs. Yeah. This one, this one, we won't have to put it in the check mark box and say, I did it. Um, I just finished that meal. You see, I'm tired. It took a lot out of me. Hey, I got respect for them chefs. The chefs, you know. Them chefs be in there whipping and slaving. And, you know, it's fun. But I'm tired. I got the itis. The chicken was fire. The mashed potatoes was fire. The corn was fire. I'm fire. Cast fire. Throw in the towel.